Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are at episode 4. So in the last episode, I noticed that the process of making uh, burnt bricks didn't uh, use as much lava as I thought it would. So in the uh, basic materials and processing book, it says 500 mil buckets for regular bricks and 250 for uh, nether bricks. But if we check the recipe in NEI, we can see that regular bricks use 250 mil buckets, which is what we saw there, and nether bricks use 100 mil buckets. So apparently the recipe has changed, but the book hasn't been uh, updated. That is annoying me. I also saw there was a hole here. Whoop. Have some surprises in here. I am a little low on health. Ooh. Iron. That is nice. Oh dear. Well, that did not go according to plan. I was not prepared to get buried in. Ouch. Where? Ah. Right there. And there was a creeper as well. So, there has been a few changes from the last episode. I've updated a couple of mods, and those will be in the credits, just under the music credits. and. I've changed a few settings. So as you can probably tell, I have set the brightness to the maximum setting because of YouTube's lighting shenanigans. And I've also turned down the weather volume to 15%. It was previously at 100%. Because rain is very noisy and uh, having to turn it down in post-processing is uh, extra work and I seem to have no cobblestone I suppose I put it in the chests my base
So this is what I was talking about uh, with gravel and sand uh, flowing. Which is why you can't make a one by one tower out of sand or gravel anymore. It'll just slide off. So you have to pile it up. right now there ha there have also been a few performance improvements at least I hope so uh, previously in the first three episodes which I recorded all at once by the way the uh, frame rate was locked at 60 in Minecraft and apparently that can be a little uh, strange and actually cause cause you to get worse frame rates and we have a rainstorm again And we also have a newer version of FastCraft, which is presumably helping with performance as well. Seems we have collected all of the ores down here, except the coal which I don't need right now. Root. Hmm. That should do. I've also turned off the full grown effect of the pneumaticraft plants because I was told that they have a tendency to multiply to the point where did I get the war I meant to pick up? Yes. Uh, they have a tendency to multiply to the point where the uh, they use up so much processing resources on the server that it starts slowing down which is not something I want. So we're going to save this iron ore for now. And we're going to make our way into the uh, ravine we found in the last episode and collect some more lava and it shouldn't take too long to go down and back up and we're going to keep making burnt bricks and the goal is to um, to make a, a mariculture smelter. So the mariculture smelter it allows you to smelt down ores and and other things of course but when you smelt down ore specifically it automatically doubles them um, so you get uh, two ingots worth automatically um, the drawback is you get 
uh, liquid metal, obviously. And you have to cast that with an ingot caster, a nugget caster, or a block caster to be able to use it, of course. And but in uh, in return you get ah oh, dang it. but in return you obviously get double the materials ow well that could have done worse and of course there are sniper skeletons ow I hate these skeletons. Now let's get us some lava. And since we only have one bucket, we can only take one bit of lava at a time. So now we get back up. Smart moving makes it a lot easier to to move around. Really does. I really can't play without it anymore. Unless I'm in creative constantly, then it obviously doesn't matter because you can fly everywhere. But in survival, it's really nice to have the ability to climb and crawl I have an arrow in my forehead I really hate those stupid stupid skeletons with their ridiculously good aim decent fire rate uh, quite annoying So now we can make some more burnt bricks, which brings us closer to oh crap. I hate those things too. And there we are. Eight burnt bricks. So what we want is two of these. So we need a lava bucket. Need one of these. And we need two of these. So I guess we're going to need to smelt this iron anyway can put some more logs in here and put charcoal in there so 
one of the reasons I built this coke oven this early is because we can use the Crisford oil to make torches. So we stick a block of wool and creosote oil gets us six torches while a piece of coal only gets us one torch. Now this is the default recipe. I will probably change this to only give four torches before we use it. So we have five iron. Uh, we could use this to make another bucket because we're going to need that anyway. We can put these away. We have we're going to need another chest. space and now we go get some more lava I suppose while trying to avoid any enemies on the way. String is always nice. We can use that for a bunch of things. out for skeletons. Maybe even put a torch over, over there so they don't respawn, preferably. Put one down here. Where did it go? There you are. Some nice experience. Some more copper. Definitely use that. Ooh, and more iron. Just what we needed. Ow. And more gravel falling. 
I keep forgetting to watch out for that. Annoyingly enough. I was also told what the harvest level means. So what I thought it meant was that you needed an iron uh, pickaxe to harvest something when it said iron. Uh, but that makes no sense when you look at redstone or gold, for example. So the way it works apparently is you need, so to harvest redstone you need an iron pickaxe so harvest level redstone means you need an iron pickaxe the same as you would to harvest redstone so um, and when it says harvest level iron which is the which it does for iron and copper it means you need a stone pickaxe or higher because you need a stone pickaxe to harvest iron so it's not the most intuitive way but I suppose it does make sense when you consider uh, mod tools that perhaps aren't made of um, a material that you can predict um, but now I know and won't be confused by it in the future I hope And of course, we have plenty of lava down here for our purposes to make all the burnt bricks we want, which is nice. And over there, it looks like we have some more iron and what looks like uh, gas, which we have little use for right now and should probably try to avoid because it can be uh, dangerous So we will make our way back to the base, smelt some iron, and perhaps craft some of the components we're going to need for the crucible furnace blocks because the sooner we can get hold of one of those the better because we will I do need to I want to this see what this is for that should do Uh, the sooner we can get a crucible, fur crucible furnace, the sooner we can start uh, doubling our ores, which is nice. It's going to require quite a bit of um, manual labor, though, moving the fluids around until we can get some pipes going and start piping it around 
but it will still be worth it to make our materials more lasting. At least that's the hope I'm having. So let's throw iron ore in there. Niter. Saltpeter, yeah. It's a saltpeter equivalent. Uh, should eat some zombie jerky and watch for the efficiency so it doesn't drop down too low. We're going to put the lava in here. I can throw the other things in here. Now I do want an easy crafting table. I need a book for that and I have not found any reeds yet. I might want to uh, look for that. I am being... Ah. Should probably keep a better eye on my hydration meter. There is something we can do about that. We can look into making a camel pack. So we need eight leather and a bottle. Now this you can fill this with water and put it in your uh, chest slot and you'll automatically take water from it when it goes too low and it stores um, uh, enough water from multiple bottles so that should help me deal with thirst which is good because I'm apparently not super good at remembering to keep an eye on that and we're going to do this And it looks like about two sticks. Just enough to purify one bottle of water. That's nice. Now, if you do, you can drink um, dirty water, but it will poison you which you probably do not want. It might even kill you depending on how much health you have obviously. Uh, here's another cave. It's interesting. Oh wait, is it? Have we been here? No. No, I think this is a new cave. Oh wait, no it isn't. We have been in this cave. All right. Ah, there we have some cocoa beans and some interesting environments. And this is bauxite ore. Don't know what that is for, but can't hurt grabbing it looks sort of like iron. Bauxite ore can be smelted. Ah, aluminum. Not sure if we can use aluminum for a lot. 
I guess we'll find out eventually. So, we have reached the uh, end of the episode point. I found a beehive and some animals. So, we're going to end the episode here and we're going to continue exploring in the next episode. So, I will see you then. Thank you.